Verbal arguments in Python are nothing special and we all know them, right? Let's see. We will explore it on a function to order coffee. Here we pass a fixed parameter on position 1 called size. Then an optional undefined number of non-keyword arguments which we use for additional additives to the coffee marked here with star arcs. And at the end optional undefined number of keyword arguments which we will use for additional details to the coffee marked here with star star quarks. To visualize and show how this concept works, we add some print statements in here. First we print the input size. To get all arcs which are stored in a tuple, we have to loop over them and print all arcs one by one. To get all quarks which are stored in a dictionary, we have to loop over them and print all key value pairs one by one. We can grab them by using the items function on the quarks dictionary. And that's it. We can already use it in an example. Let's say a customer want to order a coffee of the size medium with the additives milk and sugar and the details, price, temperature and intensity. As you see, we use a float, an integer and a string without defining it anywhere. When we run this, we see all values are printed to the console. First the size, then the two arcs and then the three quarks. But you don't have to stick to the star arcs or star star quark syntax because only the stars indicates the arcs and quarks here. When we change the name from arcs to additives and the quarks to details, we get the same result and the code works the same. So it's getting more descriptive and better readable for you. Any question, let me know in the comments. And as always, if you liked it, you should like it.